<laughs> it changed a lot too, especially does, with, yeah. uh, with this one. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alessandra, I'm a color analyst and today I'm here with my dear friend Sam. Hello! <laughs> to discover his season. So guys, remember to subscribe to our channel to support our work and I'm very excited to discover your season, Sam. <laughs> Me too. Okay, so Sam doesn't know much about color analysis, right? So this is a great occasion for me to explain every step and go through his analysis with you guys and show you the final results. Your season, Sam, is gonna be a color palette, okay? Nothing more. So we tend to associate colors to nature. This helps us to visualize the colors from each color palette. And your color palette will share with you your own chromatic color characteristics in terms of underton intensity and value. So we need to see your underton, your intensity and value to discover your season that will have colors that has the same characteristics that you naturally have. So the first step is to discover your underton and to do that we need to neutralize all the colors around you because we're gonna focus on your skin. So the undertone of a color, okay, refers to the temperature of a color, okay? Cool or warm. To discover your <laughs> undertone, so the temperature of your skin, we need to compare to your skin colors that have a different undertone. So I'm gonna start to use a couple of reds. So this is a yellow based red, more towards the orange, warm. This is blue based and is uh, cool, more raspberry. So now the aim is to focus straight in the mirror on your skin and we will see that as soon as I remove the yellow based red and I place the blue based one, something happened in your skin. With this yellow light reflecting on your skin, your skin gained the yellow from the color that is not natural because it's not part of your chromatic complex, right? Okay. So as soon as I have the blue light next to you, see that everything looks more harmonious. Yes. So the aim in color analysis is to find harmony. So let's see if we have the same feeling because uh, it looks like that your undertone is cool. I, I feel more excited now. <laughs> if, if the first color is, is like this, but I wonder what's gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna try a couple of pinks. Every color has a cool and warm version depending on the amount of yellow or blue inside a color. So this pink is more towards the orange, right? Mm. Is a salmon pink yellow base. While this one is a blue based pink. See that immediately that uh, this color cleans your face uh, straight away. Eh? Yeah. While with the salmon pink, uh, it's not that you look ugly, <laughs> of course, you look handsome with any color, but uh, it looks a little bit artificial. Now, two darker colors. So we're gonna try brown, warm, versus navy, cool. I hear the difference, I think it's huge, Sam, huge, huge. So again, it's not that brown doesn't work on you, or you cannot wear brown, but it's a little bit boring. So it doesn't add anything special to your characteristics, while with blue navy, everything looks more defined. Mm. So it seems that the image that you see in the mirror is more in HD <laughs> because it's really intense yeah. and there, defined. And brown is a very elegant color, but for people that have a warm undertone, okay? Mm. So you, blue navy, <laughs> it changed a lot, especially does, with, yeah. uh, with this one, because uh, we will see that uh, probably blue navy is gonna be a really good color on you. And now we're gonna see white, okay? Because even white can have a cool or a warm version depending on the amount of yellow inside a white. So that's a warm white. And this is a, <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is a cool white. The cave is working very well on you. Now we're gonna talk about metals. So silver versus gold. Silver represents the cool side, while gold represents the yellow side. Look how yellow you become immediately. 
So if you want to choose a metal, they will silver. be silver. Because uh, immediately you see that with silver, everything looks more natural, defined, harmonious, clean, clear. While with gold, you immediately see this yellow veil on top of you that make you look more yellow mm. than what you naturally are. Here, I have a collection of warm metals, gold and rust. Okay, look at, at the difference between those that are warm with those that are cool. <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful this combination. So silver and electric blue is a combination of metals that really, really works on you because uh, they're really matching uh, your undertone. So just to have a quick recap with the frames, uh, we see that warm colors, uh, let's say that add the tinge of yellow in your face uh, that is less harmonious uh, than a frame with cool colors. So cool colors definitely work better. Okay, Sam, we discovered that your undertone is cool, so cool colors will look best on you. We can definitely start to exclude the warm seasons, spring and autumn, because they have a warm undertone. We will be focusing on winter and summer, because winter and summer are cool seasons. It's gonna be a matter of intensity, so the vertical line of the graph. So the question will be, are you bright, highly saturated, intense, vivid and pure, or are you softer and smoky, dusty, grey down, like the summer palette? To do that, we will compare two greens, okay? An emerald green, part of the winter palette, vivid, clear and bright, highly saturated, versus a, a sage green. Immediately you see that uh, this color it uh, have a low level of intensity because it's gray down, right? Mm. That is uh, definitely a soft color, part of the summer palette. Both colors have a cool undertone. I like this one. <laughs> you like this one, okay. Both colors have a cool undertone, so let's say that this sage green looks good because of the undertone, right? Mm. But do you think that it is matching the saturation of your colors? Do you think that you have grey in your complex? Or you are vivid and clear like that? <laughs> I, I, this one matches more, but I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That one match more, okay? You like that because the, the thing is that we always tend to give priority <laughs> to colors without looking at ourselves first. Yeah. You like this color, but this emerald green likes you more, yeah. <laughs> likes you more, because you have a high level of intensity like the emerald green. You are a winter, Sam, because you have a cool undertone, your intensity is high, so it's definitely bright, and you are also quite deep, because the value is the third characteristic that we analyzed. So now we're gonna go inside your color palette, the winter palette, and we're gonna see that all the colors from this palette are gonna work fantastic on you because they will match the same characteristics that you have naturally. So as you can see from the graph, winter is divided in these three subgroups. Winter bright, winter deep and winter cool. All the colors will work very well on you because you have those three characteristics like the winter palette, but we have to see if inside your chromatic complex we recognize a dominant feature. We will start with the winter bright subgroup. This subgroup includes colors that have a dominant feature, the intensity. The brightness is what stands out on this color. And this emerald green, we already saw in the intensity phase, this is really working. Lemon yellow. Mm. What do you think about lemon yellow? I don't mind it, but not really. <laughs> not really, not really, not really. Uh, I agree with you because uh, we associate yellow to sun. <laughs> that is a warm element in nature. So as soon as we see yellow, we immediately have a feeling of warm. Of course, there are also cool yellows. That's an example. This is more citrusy and lemony. Compared to a golden warm yellow, 
lemon is definitely working so much better it cleans immediately your, your skin and your face but compared to emerald let's say that it's starting to get a little bit too warm for your cool very cool undertone so i still prefer you in emerald if i have to be honest another very bright color cyan here we are in the blue family very cool very cool color eh? that's fantastic on you i think is working is working very well and magenta look at you in magenta that's awesome on you it's uh, fantastic i think this palette really match your intensity the level of saturation of your complex is quite high the colors are cool of course i think they are really working because we are inside your palette so as soon as you see all the colors together you will see that uh, of course they are working yes. because they are part of your palette let's see if we find something even better we're gonna analyze now winter deep okay as the name said, the Winter Deep subgroup includes colors that are mainly deep, so they are dark color and they're also a little bit less intense than the bright subgroups. Why? Because we are adding a touch of black to this color, okay? So the color immediately appears a little bit less intense and a little bit deeper, darker. Mm. And the first one is Petrol. Wow, that's amazing of you. Fantastic. I, like I really like it. Really like it. Per to the emerald green. Petrol, it's more elegant of you. It's a little bit less intense and I think it's matching better your intensity. It's not as high as this uh, color. I mean, this color is working, okay? So both are working quite well. But petrol, it's very special on you. I really love petrol eh, on you. Violet, mm. very beautiful this one. Even this one is very elegant because you see it's a little bit more subtle than the bright subgroup. So it's working a little bit better and is matching perfectly a characteristic that you have that is your deep value. So beautiful this, uh, this violet. Orchid. <laughs> Look your lips, your cheeks, everything looks so harmonious and so glossy and defined. I really like it. And uh, it's much more elegant than the magenta, I think, because magenta was working very nice on you, very beautiful color for a winter. But uh, this looks more expensive, let's say, it looks yeah. more sophisticated. And then a black. <laughs> How elegant you look I'll, in I'll black. In black yeah. You work very, very well in black. Yeah, definitely. And you know that black is the most difficult color to wear. The winter deep uh, is working a tiny bit better than the yes, bright yes. one. Immediately you see when the collection of colors is placed like this, you can see like harmony. You can see that uh, it's like translating you in colors. You are like this. Yes. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Let's have a look. Winter cool. So with winter cool, we are considering the coolest palette, okay? So the dominant feature of this color is the coolness. You have a very cool undertone, eh? We didn't have any doubt during the undertone phase. The winter cool palette is also slightly more delicate than the other two because the intensity is decreasing a little bit. So we're going down and we start with <laughs> pine green. I think is working amazing on you, amazing. Cherry red, <laughs> immediately, eh? Mm -hmm. So all the reds that represent the berry, cherry, raspberry, blueberry, blackberry are yours mm. because they are cool red. In comparison with orchid, orchid or cherry? <laughs> Here is very hard, I think 50 50. Yeah. <laughs> very, very hard. You work very well with both. Mm -hmm. Cobalt, fantastic. Here we are increasing a little bit the level of intensity with this uh, electric blue that is fantastic because it's maintaining uh, a level of intensity quite high that respects perfectly your intensity, adding a touch of depth because in this cobalt, compared to cyan here, we have a tiny bit of uh, black that is make 
cobalt works better. Blue navy. Hmm, blue navy is stunning on you, stunning. The trick to define if a person is winter deep or winter cool, because now we are kind of 50 50 with winter deep and winter cool, is to test black versus navy. Here is gonna be very hard, <laughs> very hard, because you look very nice in both. <laughs> so, winter deep with black, stunning, amazing. Blue navy. I think blue navy by a touch. I think it's sweeter. It's a little bit softer, okay? And it's matching perfectly your coolness because blue is also cooler than black. So in your specific case, I think the only way to discover your subgroup and specific subgroup is gonna be to compare colors from the borderline season. So we will test summer cool and autumn deep and we're gonna see which is the dominant feature comparing those two borderline seasons. Starting with the first comparison, okay? This is Savoy blue, it's a very cool blue, slightly lighter and softer than your cobalt, but it's still a very cool color and this color is part of the summer cool palette. While this one, it's teal, is part of the autumn palette because it's a warm blue. See that is more green because there's more yellow in it and it's also quite soft, mm. but maintain a touch of that. So let's say that here in summer cool, you are losing a touch of depth and a touch of intensity. While with the autumn deep palette, you are losing a touch of coolness and intensity. Let's see which one out of the two is working better. Teal, Autumn Deep or Savoy Blue, Summer Cool. Dominant oh. feature cool. You cannot lose your undertone. Eh? Let's compare a nicey pink, very cool, of course, part of the summer palette, so also quite light and medium in intensity versus a brick red, very warm, <laughs> soft, no, 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 much better having the icy in the undertone of a color. This is nice, no? It's a very soft and light color, so it's definitely not your best, because your best is inside a winter palette, but because it's very cool, mauve is a violet, it's very cool, it's working quite, uh, quite well for your undertone. When you are next to an eggplant, uh, here we are definitely see a depth present in the eggplant because it's a dark violet, so that's probably matching better the depth. But it's too soft and it's also too warm. You're working better with a violet that even if it's a little bit lighter and softer, it maintains that uh, icy, crispy, cool undertone of the color. And uh, of course, uh, a soft navy it is this one, will definitely work better than a brown. With this one I can put my hand on fire. <laughs> I can definitely bet on, on this because um, we already see it in the undertone phase. Yeah. Brown was not so special, like a blue navy. And even if this specific blue navy is a touch softer and lighter than yours, is still a navy and it's still working better because of its cool undertone. Let's say that summer cool out of your color palette is the season that probably is closer to you because it shares with you your dominant feature that is the coolness. However, <laughs> I have to say that as a winter cool, because you are winter cool, you are quite center in your season. So let's say that your favorite palette are winter cool, winter deep, winter bright, and then you can go to summer cool. So these three frames represent the winter palette and represent the different subgroup inside the winter palette. So we have winter bright, nice, nice. It's definitely working because it's your palette. So we can do better than winter bright because this color appears probably a touch too intense and a touch too light. This is winter deep, fantastic. But see that here we can see the borderline with something warm and deep, with yellow, with some purple and brown that are a little bit in between warm and cool. Mm. So you work much better with colors that are obviously cool. So that's your palette, winter cool. 
because here the dominant feature is maintained. Very centered in the winter in the winter palette overall, but still is dominant feature Sam. It's definitely, definitely winter cool. Okay, guys and Sam, this analysis is finished now. Sam, you are winter cool. <laughs> surprised, uh, thought. Very, very surprised, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't expect it's uh, this complicated. It needs, you know, like thought of, of what mm -hmm. to choose. It's not just random. And I'm already attracted to the colors that matches me. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is something mm -hmm. very interesting that you are saying because uh, you say the right things. It's very complicated. It seems uh, superficial or easy, but there's a lot of theory behind that. And the result is objective. Of course, we base the results also on the personality, our taste, our mood, our feeling. And we realize most of the time that we are attracted for the right colors because we perceive harmony and yes. that's uh, I think is a beautiful thing. I didn't know why but mm -hmm, it just mm -hmm. yeah now makes sense. Yeah, yeah yeah maybe you don't know the reason but uh, when you feel harmony you feel that something works and something is more beautiful so we don't know the reason why we don't like apricot. <laughs> yes no orange. <laughs> <laughs> now you know the reason because they are warm color and you are very cool <laughs> that's why there's no good match. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're very very Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Guys, thank you, thank you so much for uh, for watching until this point, and thank you so much, Sam, for attending the session and be part of our uh, our channel. Uh, guys, remember to subscribe uh, to this channel. Yeah, hundred percent <laughs> recommended. And uh, I will see you very, very soon on this channel with more videos. Bye. Bye. -bye.